Assalamualaikum and hi guys. Okay, today I will talk about speech for a special occasion. Special occasion is the important day or event that are ordinary than daily routine. The occasion might be one of our unforgettable moment in our life as it will be extraordinary event. It can be to end a celebration or to celebrate someone last moment. The occasion might be birthday party, graduation day, weddings, award ceremonies, retirement dinners, and so on. Uh, for example, at wedding ceremonies, a close friend proposes a toast to the bride and groom. Uh, sales managers present an award to the sales representative of the year, last oral speech to the member at the retirement dinner, and etc. And for speech for, spe for special occasion, there is no need uh, for speech exercise or strict format for one to follow when it comes to writing a good speech. Uh, the, they are shorter than standard types of speech as they are simply in town to introduce, dedicate, or prize an individual. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Shafiq Hazmi. So my group uh, given topic on speaking on special occasion and my part is speeches of presentation okay uh, speech of presentation are given when someone receives a gift or an award uh, okay the main purpose is uh, the main purpose of speech presentation is to tell the audience why the recipient uh, re is receiving the award uh, this is to point out his or her contributions uh, achievements and so forth uh, okay depending on the audience and the occasion we may also need to discuss um, two other matters in the speech of presentation okay firstly if the audience is not familiar with the award we should explain it briefly uh, secondly if the award was won in the public competition and the audience knows who the losers are uh, you might take a moment to praise the losers. This is for to respect uh, each other. Okay, I think that's all from me. Thank you. Next, we move on to speeches of acceptance or acceptance speech. The purpose of acceptance speech is to give thanks for an award or an honor. In the speech, you are expected to thank the people who are presenting you the award and give recognition to the people who help you gain it. If you are nominated for an award or an honor, you may be asked to prepare some remarks or speech in the event that you win the award. Um, at the times, you may know that you have won, making it substantially easier to prepare. Accepting speech may vary in length. For example, for a multi-award event such as the Academy Awards, the winners are given a brief 90 seconds to make their remarks. At other times, a person could be a single awardee for the evening and have substantially more time to speak. Acceptance speeches give thanks to the awarding individual or organization. Depending on the award, the awardee may speak about the experiences or emotions of getting that award or work to achieve the award. If others have helped you in your ventures, you may give them a quick thanks by name as well. Like any speech, consider your audience and the context of the speech. While being mindful of the time, get your thanks in while being gracious and humble. Even if you are one of many in a field of nominees, it is always a good idea to prepare an acceptance speech so that when you are named the winner, you won't be fumbling for your words on stage. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Adi Mukri Bama Today I want to talk about commemorative speech. What is commemorative speech? According to the books that are written by Lucas, the art of public speaking, commemorative speech is speech of praise or celebration. Eulogies, part of Julius speeches and dedications are the example of the commemorative speeches. At the most basic levels, commemorative speeches pay tribute or praise a person, an institution, an event, idea or place. Their focus is on values. All societies hold certain values central to humans such as beauty, loyalty, wisdom and others. 
the commemorative speech will celebrate this value. Second is the type of commemorative speeches include the eulogy, the speech of nomination, the speech of goodwill, the wedding toast, and the award acceptance speech. But please note that the commemorative speech is not just informative. For the example, if a speaker wants to talk about Gandhi, a speaker would not just give a biography of Gandhi but rather would celebrate who he was, why he was worthy of praise, and encourage the audience to celebrate those values. That's all from me. Thank you. The introduction introduces the main speaker at an event and inspires the audience to listen to that speaker, according to O'Hare and Stewart, 1999. Any speech of introduction needs to be brief. After all, the person making the introduction should not be the focus of attention. The introductory speech usually has three components. That is, A. Provide a brief backdrop or background of the main speaker. B. Introduces the speaker's topic. And C. An invitation from the audience to warmly welcome the speaker. Here is an example of a speech of introduction. Number 1. A toast. A toast is a brief tribute to a person or event, according to O'Hare and Stewart, 1999. A rose is a particular kind of toast that is humorous and pokes fun at the honored person in a friendly way. Speech to present an award, a presentational speech during which a speaker presents a person with an award or prize. Acceptance speech, an acceptance speech which the recipient delivers upon immediate receipt of the award. Keynote address. The keynote address is a speech that represents the essential or common theme of a convention, conference, or other large gatherings. A commencement speech. The commencement speech, which is the type of keynote speech, is given to mark the occasion of a school's graduation ceremony during which diplomas are awarded to graduating students. Commemorative speech and tribute. Commemorative speeches and tributes are speeches that pay special accolades to an occasion, extraordinary person, event, idea, or monument.